did an alert over the second army warm invasion and now want the government to declare it a national disaster. They also fear that the challenges that affect them last year could recur this year. Elvis Kosgay now reports from Wasingishu County. Spotted for the first time in several farms at Ngeria area was in Gishu County. The worm that eats up to 10 times its body mass is reported to have caused immense destruction. Officers at Ngeria prison farm are counting losses after fall army worms invaded their 600-acre farm and caused massive destruction of maize crop. We discovered the same problem of fall army worms, which have attacked almost half of what we've planted. We have gone round with my team this morning and we've seen every field that we planted has been attacked. If all army worm in Azar Karibu Maya Elfumbili, Kiwa Moja, Na in Azatembe Azaidia, kilometers thirteen, all round. So imagine Ikianza Kuza Villa in Azar Zaizi, I'm talking in Ananonga Kuzu, ten per cent. So in Kiangalia, Kamuzi Moja and Bayo Nakuja in Azako may destroy the whole crop. Mohamed Siomi, the officer in charge of Geria Prison Farm, said the humid weather experienced in the region was favorable for multiplication of the worms, which are hard to control as they burrow inside the crop. The government last year rolled out a 200 million shillings program to eradicate the fall armyworm that threatened crop production in most parts of the country. The fall armyworm can eat up to 10 times its body mass and can fly up to 30 kilometers in a day. We have been told of so many suggestions of how to counter the menace, including tobacco. Some farmer was telling us to use tobacco because he used it last year and it was successful on his farm. Somebody told us to use Omo. Another one was telling us to use diazinon. Another one came up and told us because we have a big population of prisoners, we can unleash them onto the farm to collect all the, farm, all the, the arm worms and maybe kill them. But uh, last year we tried it and it didn't work for us well. The only area we salvaged was the one that we were able to use chemicals. In my hindi kama gunia elfu kumi na mbili. Lakini inasamekana kwamba hii dudu inakata production by almost 70%. So vile my hindi yetu imefanya mzuri, imeanza chini mzuri, population ilikuwa sawa, lakini sasa ile disaster tunayona ni hii folami wambu. Wazabu ikakata 70% of the production. Farmers in the North Rift region have issued an alert over the pest that has been reported for the second time in the country. Elvis Kosgei, KT News, Ngeria area, Wasingishu County. And in regards to that story of army worms, experts have warned that if nothing is done, then we are staring at a time where we could have uh, a drought coming up. But uh, it was interesting to listen to some of the solutions being given there. Unleash the prisoners to collect the worms. See, you're already in prison. <laughs> it's like extra punishment. I mean... No, but I mean, even in, yeah, as in, in terms of even that being a solution, can you imagine <laughs> in this day and age? No, it's not, because the fact that it happened previously, what was done to solve it, the fact that we still seem to be unaware mm. is the issue, and it shows lack of preparedness. Mm. If the first time this is what solved it, then we could we continue to use that solution, not now back to square one, where we're asking ourselves, what, what do we need to do again to be able to solve this problem? Mm. And uh, as you can see, even in yesterday's nation, hunger, uh, is what we are staring at if this is not sorted out. Joe, uh, I know you do have, all of us more or less have, uh, you know, a, a background we come from, and there is farming. I don't know if you come from a farming background yes. in Western. Yes, from Busia County. To be yes, specific, we okay. At least, we at least do some little farming for, for our own use, for household use. But one thing this story is bringing up is about uh, food security in the country. We are not able to produce enough, but again, we are talking about whereby even that what we are going to produce is going to be reduced again because of things like amyworms. Mm. And one of the issues is that we don't know how to solve it. But the other time, yesterday we talked about how as a country we really need to invest in uh, research in terms of being able to come up with new innovative ideas to how to solve such problems. Mm. Instead of us talking about when I was listening to the, to the prison warder saying that they go and release the, the prisoners, <laughs> the prisoners to, to, to collect worms. To collect worms. 
in and, and even if you even if you collected worms, what do you do with the eggs? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah we, I think uh, food security is among the the Jubilee Manifesto. And I think we really need to discuss it, we really need to expound on it, and we really need to come up with concrete solution mm. on how to ensure food security in our country. And of course, yeah. the story that was there before that was also to do with flooding again, which speaks to planning, which doesn't seem to happen. Uh, we're getting to a point where we're even losing lives, uh, losing livestock and crops. And unfortunately, it is not from experience teaching us any lessons. Mm -hmm. when, when it comes to disaster, Again, I say that we seem to lack preparedness. Like when you look at the US, for instance, when it comes to disaster, there's agencies like FEMA, which is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. So something such as a flooding, there is already a fund available to be able to assist people who've lost their housing, who mm. need clothing, basic necessities. Mm. But then when, when you come to Kenya and you hear these stories all the time, how people have lost a home, people have lost a life, and then it, it ends there. They are basically left on their own Accord to sort it out. Mm. So such disaster management, I think, procedures, we really need to look into it, especially when we talk about climate change. We're going to see more and more of flooding, more droughts. So our governments need to really put in line what are the necessary steps to be able to protect the people after mm. such an and occurrence. And the thing is, there's actually a disaster management fund mm. that is set up for that. But what happens to it, your guess is as good as mine. Now, let's go to...